introduction part of our group assignment video and the title of our group assignment is Solar Power Refrigerator. What is Solar Power Refrigerator and Refrigeration Process? Solar Power Refrigerator is a refrigerator that works with solar energy which is supplied by the sun. The solar panel in the solar power refrigerator is used to collect the solar energy. The conventional refrigerator uses a power grid to run the moving parts, while the solar power refrigerator is plugged into a solar panel setup as the power supply. Refrigeration process is the process of transferring heat from low temperature medium to a high temperature medium. The working fluid used in the process is called refrigerant. The refrigeration cycle in the refrigeration process is the vapor compression refrigeration cycle. The diagram shows the flow of vapor compression refrigeration cycle. Photovoltaic operated refrigeration system. The solar panel is used to convert the solar radiation directly into direct current electricity. The direct current electricity power operates the DC motor and drives the compressor to circulate the refrigerant. Next is theoretical background. First, differentiating the first and second law of thermodynamics applied in solar power refrigerator with photovoltaic operated refrigeration system. First law of thermodynamic applied in solar power refrigerator. The law may be applied when the energy from the sun directly transferred into the system. Major components of the solar power refrigerator. First, compressor. The refrigerant, for example, R717, enters the compressor at low temperature and low pressure. It is in gaseous state. Compression takes place to raise the temperature and refrigerant pressure. The vapor then leaves the compressor and enters the condenser. This process requires work so that DC motor has been used. Second is condenser. Condenser is essentially a heat exchanger. This heat is transferred from the refrigerant to a flow of water. The refrigerant flows through the condenser in a constant pressure. Third is expansion valve. When refrigerant enters the valve, it expands and releases pressure. Consequently, the temperature drops at this stage. Because of this change, the refrigerant leaves the valve as a liquid vapor mixture, typically in proportions of around 75% and 25% respectively. This expansion valve maintains a pressure differential between low and high pressure sites and controls the amount of liquid refrigerant entering the evaporator. The last part is evaporator, which is vapor compression refrigeration cycle stage. At this stage, the refrigerant is at a lower temperature than its surrounding. Therefore, it evaporates and absorbs latent heat of vaporization. Heat extraction from the refrigerant happens at low pressure and low temperature. First law of thermodynamics Where are the components that obey first law of thermodynamics in the refrigeration system? Condenser and evaporator in the refrigerator system act as the heat exchanger, which then applies as the first law of thermodynamics. We all know that it is a steady flow process with open system. So the equation goes like this Q minus W equals to delta H plus delta kinetic energy plus delta potential energy where work shaft equals to zero potential and kinetic energy also equals to zero. H is the in the change in the enthalpy whereas Q is the heat Secondly, now we're going to go into second law of thermodynamics in refrigerator. According to the second law of thermodynamics, heat will always flow spontaneously from hot to cold and never the other way around. A refrigerator causes heat to flow from cold to hot by inputting work, which cools the space inside the refrigerator. The work is inputted, inputed which is known as W in work input which compresses a coolant increasing its temperature above the room's temperature and heat flows from this coolant to the air in the room known as QH reducing the temperature of the coolant and the coolant expands and it cools down below the temperature inside the refrigerator lastly heat flows from the refrigerator to the co coolant which known as QC or QL decreasing the temperature inside the efficiency of refrigerator is expressed in terms of the coefficient of performance COP and the equations for the second law of thermodynamics are there are three
So here we have an example for the efficiency calculation where we use the same diagram as before which is photovoltaic and where the photovoltaic solar panel will convert solar energy to electrical energy which generate the DC current which then generate the, the, the energy need for the compressor. Here we assume the mass flow rate, the work in and also the temperature and pressure entering and leaving the compressor. Here we assume that it is the steady flow and also the kinetic energy and potential energy are negligible whereas the heat loss in the compressor is zero. So from table 813 we can find the first enthalpy meanwhile in table 811 we can find the second enthalpy whereas the first enthalpy is the saturated superheated freedom meanwhile the second is the saturated one. So if we want to find QH we use the formula QH equals to mass flow rate times first enthalpy minus second enthalpy where we get 9.069 kilowatts and then when finding the Q load where we use the formula work in equals to QH minus Q load which we arrange in range and then we got 5.569 kilowatts then we have to calculate for COPR which is the QL over work in is equals to 1.59 and then we find the efficiency which is work in over QH which is equals to 0.3859 that's all thank you there are supplementary evidences on photovoltaic refrigeration system. Moving to the next part, which is the discussion, we need to discuss on why the company should approve our solar power refrigerator system that we designed for the Rasli in Terra as part of their CSR program. Okay, firstly, it can help to preserve the food in the isolated area. The solar power refrigerator can provide a means for keeping the food safe and preserved without the need to connect to utility provided power. Lastly, can use solar power refrigerator as an alternative to electrical refrigerator as they can run year round without fears of rain leaks or other chemical concerns. The second reason is because the solar power refrigerator has a great energy efficiency. The solar power refrigerator were designed to maximize the efficiency of solar operations. Solar power refrigerator are wired and running on DC power as opposed to inverting the power back to AC power and it takes normal refrigerator 6 times more power to run the compressor than the solar refrigerator. This can help the community of Rasli which lack energy resources. The next reason is because the solar power refrigerator is practical and cost efficient. The energy created by the one panel running in a solar refrigerator is significantly more than the energy consumption of the normal refrigerator. Most of the power draw comes from initially starting up the compressor in the solar refrigerator. Once the power is up and running, the operating power draw is extremely low. This is very practical to use and can help the community of Rasli. And the last reason is, the solar power refrigerator has a renewable energy resources. As we know, most electric energy were generated from non-renewable power plants such as coal and nuclear which is limited in number and may take long time to replenish. Other than that, the process to generate electricity by using these resources also costs environmental population due to the releasing of carbon dioxide. Hence, by using solar energy which is a type of renewable energy, environmental damage can be avoided. In conclusion, the company should approve the usage of solar power refrigerator for Orang Asli community as it has many advantages. The usage of renewable energy, which is solar energy, helped to preserve food without the hassle of connecting the cable to power supply as the power was generated by itself. Not only that, the efficiency of solar power refrigerator is also proved to be almost the same with the ideal COP of normal refrigerator. Well, that's all from us. Thank you.